Thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer. I've got David here uh, working on a blind baby and um, she does not like her nails touched or feet touched or her butt touched but here's our uh, Papillon uh, viewer request but she is muzzled right now so he's going to be doing a zero guard and a one zero guard on the side slightly and a two guard for the sanitary and um, he needs to be very careful because she's blind and she could you know step off the table so he needs to be near her and just aware of her uh, what she's doing so uh, here's David just uh, doing his, his, this cleanup thank you Two guard Heine. All right, folks, I'm going to take over. Thanks, David. Okay. How's she doing? Did he get to the zero guard, you guys? Let me see what's going on here. Why are all these guards in the wrong place now? Did I do this? Yeah. What's that doing up there? Yeah, it's so confusing. <laughs> Did you do the guard at all? Yeah, I did two guard on this, but... That's it? Yeah. I was about to do that. Okay. So I've actually got my one guard. Um, we're not trying to do like a, a haircut, like haircut, but um, we're tidying up all the sides here like up in here and I could feel when I was just feeling her body all these knots right here so all these mats you have to cut these out right here okay so I'm gonna come back and cut it out separately look at all these just tangles just random sometimes all oh, the hair on different animals as they get older will start to grow differently so mom likes it all, this is all kind of knotted in there, so just push a tiny bit. She, mom likes this all, because she sleeps a lot, so she bunch, bunches that up quite a bit. And while I've got my hand there, I mean, I'm going around her legs. It's not going to be like all beautiful, but it's going to be nice and cleaned up, okay? So I'm actually going to take off more than what was, I know what mom wants, you know. Mom had, one time I didn't take off enough, mom came back, so. And I'm doing this basically because we had a um, couple requests on the Papillon. And uh, I do this pet every couple months. But she, I, uh, she, nah, she's older, but we have her on schedule. But I told her, Mom, if you don't want to be on schedule, I understand, you know, because you have an older baby. And so to, to actually get on schedule, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm just going to come in and I'm not shaving out the whole body or anything. I'm just going to shake, you know, it's just like cutting it out with the scissors. So just take out these knots. What, 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 freaking me out over here. No, no, girlfriend. You're good. And as you move the dog, like I can feel knots on the other side now too. So if you don't know how to feel for them, use your comb. That'll tell you. Uh, check the armpits.
come in with my sanitary here. Can you let me hike this a little bit and we'll get in there? Yeah. She does really good for blind uh, pet. There's some blind ones I've done and I'm like just real gently against hitting my hand here. Just kind of doing it like I would a seven, you know, down the arms a little bit. Same thing over here. I guess I can come back with my 40 now. It's not going to be her favorite thing here. here. She's got a lot of room to bite me, so I'm kind of keeping, keeping an eye on that, that part of everything. Okay. Let me see. She's got this one up. Kind of, she's tapping that one, means her weight isn't on it, so let me just grab that one first. Mom told me don't trim the ears and don't trim the tail, so I won't be doing that at all. And when, when they say certain things, you just listen to them. If you trim it and they can tell, then they'll be like, okay, you didn't listen to me. You want to make sure you're listening. You have good listening skills. If you're uh, like me and you can't remember it, write it down. And keep referring back to the file. I remember, uh, I, so I, I'm, I grew up with uh, really long hair uh, most of my life and I got my hair cut really short about 8-10 years ago, I mean like manly short if you guys have been watching me for a while. And so I've tried, oh, 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 oh. nope, stop, nope, stop, whew, um, don't, she's licking her chomps, she wants to bite me, it's okay girl, at least you're not arguing, she usually would just start, snap, she'll just snap back at me. Okay, you're good. You're good. I got you. Uh -uh, I got you. So I've had to go into many, many barbers and hairstylists, right? All different kinds, man. And I would never be happy. I would, I would walk out of there going, we're having that same problem with David right now. We're just trying to find someone that can style his hair rather than just do a haircut and, and style it with the, the, with the fade. And none of these, none of these beauty people know how to do the... You can, we can go down to where he's grown up getting his hair cut and they know how to fade like in 10 minutes. But you go to these salons, man, they don't know. We've been to like two salons. One, we paid like $50 for his haircut and they didn't even know how to fade. He came back with a line around his head. So my point is, is that uh, uh, all the barbers that I went to and stuff like that write down their file. Like, because I would go in and I would be using the same person for like three years and every time I would walk in, she'd ask me what haircut I wanted. And I'm like, dude, why don't you write this down so that, so that I don't have to try to remember what you just did? Because it's tough, man. You, you know, especially if we're, which I am a groomer, but if you're working on someone's hair and they're not a groomer or a barber or anybody in the industry, why are they going to remember guards? And so if you're watching this and you're in the industry, make a file for your clients so that you can say, yeah, that's what we did last time. Or you know what? 10 years ago, that's what we did. Let's go back to that. Let's see how it looks. You know what I mean? How cool would that be? Rather than going, I don't remember what we did last time, you know? So life experiences help you kind of decide how you want to run your business. You just take, take those and go, I don't want to do that. And don't, don't do it. Okay, so we're going to go to the bath. And since I have a little bit of time, my, one of my clients, babe, I, I need you. Um, one of my clients is running late due to, due to a battery dead. Never mind, I got it. So some of you have been wanting to watch the bath. I'm going to take you guys to the bath. I have a little bit of time. This is a Saturday. I don't like re uh, video recording on a Saturday, but this sort of knocks out of some of your requests, which is a papillon and the bath. Um, bathing is too loud, so 
and then it, it makes the video one hour which takes about one hour video takes us overnight to load so we can't load more than one video at a time so there's things you got to understand if you're watching videos is that if we don't cut it down to a 20 minute video there's no way we're going to load it you know we're going to load it overnight while we sleep which sucks so that's why you get what you get. Um, and then there's other reasons, like when, it, when I'm pack, back, busy back to back, there's just no way for me to stop and explain stuff and talk. It, it just really slows uh, the groomer down, okay? So uh, thank you for your support and watching us, but just know why, a picture being me for a minute and know why that the videos don't have a bath or why the videos are only one coming out every other day or something like that. Just understand there's so much more dynamics going on with running a business then just put the YouTube channel and put it on. It's not, it's not that, it really isn't that easy. One day it might be, but it's not that easy today. There's editing, fine tuning, gotta add um, our own verbiage, um, our links, put our links in the video. It takes hours, sometimes an hour to, to edit the video. Okay, so here we go with our baby girl. And before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and do our ears with the muzzle. I'm gonna take the muzzle off so that we can be done with the whole muzzle thing. Cause I'm done, uh, I'm not done with her feet, you guys, darn it. So I'm gonna clean her ears. And her ears usually aren't bad, but I mean, they're, they're na a little nasty today. So I'm gonna get a Q-tip into this one. So we got, you know, okay. And I'll probably just do a uh, complimentary ear flushing, but I'll do it at the very end of our grooming, the entire grooming, so she's not shaking her head the whole time. <sighs> Make sure you have your face masks on to protect your lungs and your breathing. And then also, don't forget your smock. I'm sorry, baby. So just a, it within the crevices of the ear, not digging really far down. You just want to get all this kind of gunk stuff out before I flushed, okay? Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yes. And uh, I'm gonna flush. She's an older baby, so I'm not gonna mom, I'm not gonna make the mom freak out or anything on this. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is called flushing, and I do charge extra for it. But this is gonna be complimentary. She's been coming to me for a couple years, and she's got an older baby, so I'm I'm cool with it. I'm cool just doing some stuff complimentary. When you, when you see it, it's not about money. It's just about let's just get it done, okay? But you can't do you can't give away. You can't give away everything or how you're going to pay your own bills and the bills for the business, okay? So just keep it limited. But her ears are so small, what is it going to take for me to flush them? Just, you know, it's easy. So I'm get, uh, warming up the water a bit. My gallon is kind of running low, so I put some water in it to kind of help me get every last inch out of it. So that's why I don't have my gallon pumps on there. If you need gallons or gallon pumps, please let me know. Gallons of shampoo, I should say. Okay, we got that nice and uh, warm. She doesn't like certain areas to be messed with, okay? So I'm gonna get her, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time getting her completely saturated with water. And really, use your fingers and get in there. Here on her sanitary area, her hiney. I'm not gonna like dig and get her all wet and all that stuff. She hates being touched in certain areas, so just learn the dog. I'm just gonna get me some shampoo here. And what, uh, this one is a little diluted down, so to finish off that bottle, so you don't waste any of the solution in there. It's very diluted. <laughs> okay. And then use your water to help move that around here. Come on, baby. I'm going to get her head last because she's blind, so she's kind of, um, just, you know, I'll do that last. She does not get blow dried. When I'm working with senior dogs, we just, a, if the pet parent's okay with it, obviously, most of the, 99.9% .9 of the time they are. Very rarely do I hear a client say no. You know, push it, because I'll do a video and show them, like, the dog jumping. Or I don't even know when it stopped recording this stupid thing. Okay. Um, we've rinsed her head, rinsed her body, rinsed her eyes really good. Make sure there's no shampoo in the eyes. 
Uh, we brushed her with the uh, brush and conditioner through her coat. I wish this thing would make a loud beep when it stopped recording, man. Okay. I'm going to dry her a lot in the tub and maybe a little bit more on the table, but she's a no blow dry baby because she's older. So she air dries at home. And that helps us. There are times if you have an older pet, if you go to the groomer, you're kind of putting yourself, I call it pushing over the edge. So if you have a 90 year old grandma, and I don't know if it got this earlier, I said this already. If you have a 90 year old grandma and you say, hey grandma, let's go for a walk around the lake. A walk around the lake is different than a run around the lake. So if you come to the groomer, it's like running the whole time. If there's a lot going on, the sounds, the movements, and then you turn it, turn a blow dryer on like this, you know, like listen. You know, that's too much for like a 90 year old, you know what I mean? So, pick and choose how you want to handle your clients, but when we have senior pets, I actually ask them if I can opt out from blow drying, and they usually say yes. And I tell them why, I mean, she might leave and her heart's been going like mine is, you know, she goes home and, and she dies tonight. We don't want that. So, um, be aware and then offer different um, tweaks to the package so they understand uh, why you're not going to blow dry or why the pet's going to go home damp. You know, they understand it. So I don't even think I did nails yet, you guys. What am I thinking, man? It's like, did you still have to put the muzzle on? What are you talking about? But she got a break with the muzzle, so we're going to go to the table now. I'm trying to see if I can just get back to letting David do some work because we get so far behind with our orders. Not far behind. We get two, one day behind on our orders if we are not checking in daily. And then we do like to send you guys emails that you have questions about the products and, you know, tell me tell me your story. So if I could just get him off the camera a little bit so he can do that thing. I'm just going to try to work on the day. Okay, here. Okay, so just FYI, if you haven't figured it out yet, everything I use, I sell. I will even sell you the exact one I'm using, and I will be out until I can get myself a new one. So if you need something, please email me. I will get it to you, and we do international shipping. I know that's a big question out there. We should put that, like, in the bottom. Do you guys read the, the bottom of the video at all? Oh, I'm breathing hard. Get some air. It's a lot of talking. Talking and breathing through the mask doesn't work sometimes. So do as much towel dry as you can. Um, and I like to do a really good towel dry before I blow dry as well. I, I have this thing when I've hired groomers is, uh, or bathers is um, one towel per dog. And very rarely do I actually need two, two towels, maybe on a husky, a big 170 pound husky or something like that. But use like every tip of your towel. Like I'll be, I'll be doing this if it's dry. I'll be like literally using every tip of your towel to dry the pet. Cause you gotta stop and do laundry, you know this, right? Someone's doing laundry. So if you use two, three towels a dog, man, you're gonna be doing extra laundry all the time when all you had to do was like squeegee dry the dog first with your hands and then come back and dry with the towel. And then you're, the more you take off with the towel, the less time you actually have to blow dry. I'm just like this. I know you don't like it. She's licking her chops, it's telling me to get back. So. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not wanting to use it. Aha! I still got it a little bit. I still got it a little bit, girl. I'm going to tighten this up a tad. She's got a little bit of room and it's scaring me. Okay, so, did I do the nail trim, you guys? Man, I'm losing it. Yeah, I did. I did the nails, okay. So I guess when I'll come back, I was gonna start turning your feet, but let me come back. We're gonna do a little bit of the leave-in conditioner. I love it, I love this stuff. So it'll be silky smooth when it's actually totally dry. You can do a stream or a pump. I just love that, love that tool. Okay. I'm 
brush this all down and out. I can hear those people's music next door, man. It's so annoying. They have no idea that it's too loud. Can you guys hear? Stupid, man. Just be aware of your surroundings, dude. There's other people around doing other things. <laughs> it's a barber shop. I hope we don't get pinged for copyright material. It's not even in our, it's not in our salon, you got YouTube. It's not in our salon, man. I have no control about that music. I know you don't like, she doesn't like brushing, man. Okay. I can't believe she tolerated all that stuff. That's great. Right? Mm -hmm. So I have a muzzle because not that I'm scared or anything like that, but she whips back too fast. I don't know. I have so much going on. She's blind, young. There's so much going on. It's not just a normal situation, but she is fast. <laughs> She's fast, man. I, the first uh, few times I groomed her, I tried not to use the muzzle first and see how she go. Oh, woo! I was like, woo! I was like, that was close. That was a close call. Okay, so she doesn't really want to do some maneuvering for me so just it doesn't matter you know okay Let's see. boy if she had more energy and sight she'd probably be arguing with me right now see her how she's lifting her foot if i'm brushing it and stuff like that little things like leave me alone she just wants to go back home and lay down a bit Right, Holly? Huh? Right? You want to go home and lay down? You're going to rest the rest of the day? This is a workout for you, isn't it? Yeah, this is a workout. So I'm sorry you guys don't get to see a completely dry papillon, but you know why, right? So it's really cool when it is wet, though. You can see it's kind of lightly damp. And when it is a little wet, yeah, it dulls out your scissors a little bit, so don't use your most expensive ones. But not to where I'm like, oh, I can't use my scissors again. No, it's not that big of a deal. But you can actually see all the flurries just sticking in your way. She does not like that. If she doesn't like it, don't do it. Do it, try it a different way. So my one of my clients wakes up. She's a, probably in her six, almost 70 years old. And she's like, yeah. I thought she was going to say she had a flu because we're having a flu problem down here in Texas. She's like, Didi, my car battery died. And I was like, oh, dang, that, that darn car battery. Darn it. And uh, I said, well, can you just come in? She goes, no, I guess I got to pay your fee, you know, because there's a cancellation fee, especially same-day cancellation. There's no way I'm replacing that time. And I said, of course not, man. No. I mean, if you, she's never been late, never called in. I mean, ever. So I'm like, no, of course not, man. Come on. You have to have fees, but you could still be human. You abuse it, though, that's different. Or you don't even give me a notice or a reason or just don't even show. That's different. That's so different. Because, I mean, these are appointment rooms. Yeah, it's not like you drop off and you can. I can have your dog all day. That's not how we work. So I do have fees if they don't show up and stuff like that. It protects my time. My time is so valuable. You guys hopefully feel the same way. I'm like, did it stop recording? You guys haven't even been able to see her face the whole time? Sorry about that. Whew, I'm exhausted, man. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and clean up the legs. Because I could feel some flurries. Instead of hand scissoring all in there, just come in with your 10 and clean out all in there. Up the tummy a little bit here. Up the tummy a lot. I got the tail in my hand, swinging it back and forth, kind of moving it out of my way as I need to.
I'm going to come back with my four and come a little closer with the sanitary. And when you have older dogs, you'll start to learn. They start to um, get pretty we're dirty, you know, like their poop sticks to them and stuff even more. So you really want to clean these areas up, especially if that's what the client wants and that's what she wants. She wants this area really cleaned up. Remember she said don't trim the tail. So now we've got this really tightened up here. I got my four guard on there. Come in, clean that really good in there. Sometimes that tail, you gotta move it. You see how I open that up? Okay, just be careful, okay? I mean, it's not like the most comfortable thing, right? But you need to clean it up and get it all cleaned up. You might not see her for two months. Two months is quite a while. Okay. I'm gonna sweep this up, just check everything out. Those of you writing me and ordering from Australia, Germany, England, UK, I really appreciate you. I know the shipping's like crazy. We do our best to, man, we stay up late trying to figure out better shipping options. Uh, we weigh like everything to try to get you guys the best rates. It's just unfortunate. It's just really expensive to ship to Germany. Germany's really high, so is China. Uh, China and uh, what else is way over there? Russia. Although I don't know of any Russian, uh, anybody from Russia watching right now. But. Man, the shipping is so high. Just shipping alone, that doesn't include like packaging, or driving, taking it, you know, there's just shipping alone. We're just trying to just get the shipping for you to, at a reasonable rate, it's difficult. So no, we're thinking about you and we are working it for you. Okay, remember I said I was gonna flush the ears right before, so I'm gonna have her towel here with me. And this will be the last, I should do a pick, let me think, how should I do this? Let's, do, let's just do this little tiny bit, just a trickle. In her case, just a trickle, you know, okay? And let that just go down the ear canal. I know, I know. And watch her, she's gonna shake. Okay, okay. <laughs> It is a little cool, okay, the product, it's like pouring alcohol in your ear, it's going to be, a, oh no, it tickles, and it tickles a little bit, okay. So just, you know, no, just understand it's a little cool, probably tickles a little bit. What the, okay, let me see, okay. If you wanted to shake it out, go ahead, shake it out. Good, are you good? It's tickling, it's tickling. Yeah, it's going down there. Okay, that's what we want. Sell this online too. You should get a cleaner plus a flusher when you're going to start doing um, uh, ear, ear flushing packages, okay? And make sure you know what you're doing. You want to make sure you know how to clean the ears before you really get in there, okay? Okay, we're going to go over here. See if I can get this. I just kind of, if you haven't noticed, we kind of changed our area around. Where are you gonna go? Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, sweetie. We're all done. Oh yay! So, um, the whole point of that story was I asked my next client after the battery dying client to come in early and she is. That way I told the battery client to, which is Cindy. Yeah, okay, that's a good one. Yay, we got you in there. So she's gonna shake her head a little bit and that's all good, all good and dandy. Um, thanks for watching Didi Cry on YouTube. We have Holly here, our blind papillon, and uh, she's older and a little mean with her feet in her, uh, br and brushing, she hates the brush. But thanks for watching, thanks for supporting us, thanks for putting in orders. Uh, we have a shop online at our store at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. You can click on the shop here, there's two of them. Uh, a couple 
things, uh, a lot of, the, everything, that is, uh, a couple things are not on there, so if you need something, email me, okay, and the email should be down below, I hope, or email me through the website, myfavoritegroomer.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, we'll talk to you soon.